when you go into a tunnel, there's some things you just have to uh, you have to keep in mind. Um, first of all, it's best not to turn on a light. If you have a flashlight, you only use it rarely. I mean, if you're really, really sure you are uh, alone, right? And it's going to be dark, so you you live by your senses, what you can feel, what you can hear, what you can smell. So when you go into a tunnel, the best thing to do is to try to touch as much of the ceiling and the wall and the floor as you can. There are trap doors in there, and if you miss a trap door, somebody would come up behind you with a big iron spike and just nail you to the floor. So, you know, you really want to make sure you know what's going on in here. Um, and you need an imagination. Right. What am I feeling? Is this part of the tunnel an intersection mm -hmm. or not? And so what happened then was uh, I got to an intersection <laughs> and I thought, well, if I turn left or right, if I go, you know, in this intersection, uh, chances are that somebody will get behind me, and this right. is not what you want. Right. Um, I was in the tunnel, and I was behind this person, but they could get around the corner and wait for you. Right. And, you know, the tunnels are small. Um, at times, your shoulders can touch both walls at the same time. It's like having an alley fight in a sewer pipe, which is really what happened. Um, I thought I heard someone, and so I just laid there for a while. And one of the other things you do in tunnel fighting is you do your first killing as quietly as you can, which means with a knife or with your hands, because if you fire a gun, then everybody knows you're there. And they, they will come for you. So as I eased to the, um, you know, tried to ease around the intersection, um, I smelled nakmam. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, the next thing I knew, I got hit on the side of the face. And uh, I lost my knife. So then we had, you know, we had this, this struggle. And uh, I managed to get the advantage and uh, crush the soldier's larynx and... Uh, then I got out. Right. So um, that was, you know, the reason why I stopped going into tunnels. Yeah. yeah. And then by June of 1970, I thought, you know, I've gone ten and a half months in Vietnam, kept myself mostly in one piece. Right. Right. And now I'm going into Nguyen's house, <sighs> and Nguyen's got an AK, and he's going to be really upset. <laughs> so, <laughs> I thought, well, okay, I'm not getting out of here, so I might as well just make it difficult for them. So that's, that's why I started doing the Tom stuff again. Yeah.